Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a very unique AI tool which deals with real estate where you can take an image of an empty room, any sort of a large or small room, and then you can turn it into anything that you like simply by writing in prompts. And this can be great for people, let's say if you're looking to renovate some area of your house or some type of a room or you are into interior designing and you just want you know, maybe to get an idea of how the room should look like in the future. So this is a great tool for that. And it's a very unique tool because I've not seen something like this anywhere else. So the app for this is Pencil AI, which is a free app up to 20 credits, and then you have to pay for it. But you will be able to use this uh, for 20 generations for free. And also, we will be comparing the results here to Adobe Firefly, because that's another tool where you can do this, okay? So we'll see which one works out to be better. But first of all, let's see where this uh, tool exactly is on the Pencil app. So I've given you the link uh, to this particular page. You'll find it in the description. And all the images that I'm using here in the tutorial, you'll also find the link to download them in the description. So let's get started. You'll have to scroll down and find this tool called AI Architect. And as you can see, instantly visualize your dream interiors just by uploading the image. So first of all, we have this particular image and we are going to turn this into, let's say if we were going to start a cafe, okay, then we want uh, some sort of a visualization uh, according to our desires. And we're gonna see something that helps us achieve this, okay? So let's upload this image here. All right, so we've uploaded the image and the interface is very uh, minimal. You can see here, it's just gonna ask you to select a style, then select a room and then write in a prompt. And also we have this slider by which you can control how the future, how much the future generations or to what degree will they be similar to the uploaded image or the original image here, okay? So let's go one by one. First of all, we're gonna select a style here. So for style, we can probably go in for, let's say, you have a lot of styles here, but let's say I'm going for a tropical cafe with a lot of greenery uh, because these days those type of cafes are very, very popular. So let's say in style, we select tropical. Uh, this is very important. So make sure you get this right. Okay. So we're going to look for coffee shop here. And if whatever you're going for is not in this menu, that's where you can add this uh, in the prompt also. Okay. Finally, we have this slider. Uh, and what this means it's pretty easy to understand if this slider is more towards the creativity side, that means this number is higher towards one, that means you're giving this tool more liberty to make any kind of changes, okay? And if it's closer, then obviously it's gonna stay very similar to the original image. Now, what I've seen is I've done a lot of experiments with this tool. What you should be doing is avoid both the extremes because if it's too less, then the image doesn't really change. Like in this case, probably it'll just add some leaves or plants, that's it. But most of the image won't change. If it's too much towards the creativity side, then the change can be too much. What I've seen is, based on my experiment, something like 0.65 uh, gives a great balance, that you do see the changes also, but it retains the original structure and perspective in the image, okay? Uh, finally, you do get this uh, prompt also, this prompt window where Based on these things, these two parameters, it actually writes in the prompt on its own. In case you wanna add anything else, you can. And later on in one of the images, we will be doing this through ChatGPT, where ChatGPT will create a prompt for us, okay? But that'll come later on. And one uh, issue with this tool is that for some reason, it doesn't fit properly in the window, okay? In your browser window. So there's a generate button down below, but you can see it gets cut off right here. So you just have to zoom out in your browser by using the shortcut, which is control command minus. Okay, till the time you see this uh, button here. And then you can hit generate and just zoom in back. And let's see the results here. All right, so you can see that that looks absolutely fantastic, right? It maintained the structure and perspective and it has given us that uh, tropical uh, cafe feel to it. So if let's say we were actually starting a business, you know, this is a great way to just try different things, whatever's in your mind. And then maybe you can hand these uh, files or these images to your interior designer, okay? So that's one usage of this. Let's try a couple of more. Now, this time we've got this image of sort of an abandoned room. Let's upload this and let's let's say this is one of the rooms of a new house that we have bought or rented. And then we want to turn this into a gamer room, okay? So let's quickly do this again. All right, so we upload the image here. Let's select a style this time. Maybe we can this time because it's a gamer room. So they have actually a gamer room style here. So we can select that and... And something like this, we can probably select 
what type of a room it will be. Um, maybe you can just go for a bedroom. Maybe so this is supposed to be a bedroom as well as a gamer room. As you can see it's taken in the prompt here. Uh, this time, again, we're going to keep this at around, let's try 0.7 this time. So we're giving it a bit of liberty. And again, let's just zoom out a bit so we can see the generate button and let's see the results here. All right, so you can see that this looks really cool. It has that modern gamer-like feel to it along with the chair and the other stuff. And not just for interior designing, but if you like something like this, you might start buying all these things and start de decorating your room in this way. Let's just do this once more before we move on to the slightly more challenging image where we compare things to Firefly. So this time we have this sort of a living room. Let's quickly select a style and room uh, for this. All right, so in style, we can probably go for an Airbnb style. So this can again be great for people who are, uh, you know, they just have a normal shot, but they maybe slightly want to improve the shots. Then you can select Airbnb. Maybe you just want to post these shots uh, online or something like that. And this time, what I want to show you is that we're going to actually keep this very low. So let's say that you really want it to look very similar, but maybe you just want to change a few things, okay? Because that can be great for people who want to give a real look Maybe you already had everything in the room. You don't want to change too much, but maybe you just want to add a bit of decor, okay? So then we can select a room here and let's say again, living room. And you can see this is here. And what I've seen with this tool is it doesn't really give too much importance to the prompt, okay? These three things are very important. The style, the room, as well as uh, this slider, okay? So let's hit generate. Let's see the results here. So this time you can see this, the importance of this slider, right? Because we didn't really move this towards this side. It pretty much kept everything the same. It just changed very few things, okay? But this time let's also see the other extreme. Let's actually put it all the way to the highest and let's see how much uh, liberty it gets to change things. And you can already see, right, in the preview that is building up that this is going to definitely look very, very different. Even the colors of the walls look different. There's definitely going to be a couch here. So let's wait for the final result here. All right, so you can see, right, this also looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the tough part. So we are going to test this tool against Firefly because Firefly also has the ability to do something similar. And this time we have this image in front of us of an empty room. And what we are planning to do is that we have this image with us of sort of like a meditation room. And that's what we want for our empty room. Let's say we got inspired. We saw this room somewhere or we saw this image on an internet or a magazine. And then we really want our own room to have a similar style. But we really want to be able to visualize that first so that we can pass this on to an interior designer. So we want to test out whether this can be done better in pencil or in Firefly, right? Because we do have a reference image this time with us. So what the problem with uh, pencil here is that we don't have anywhere to attach this reference image, right? So we will definitely need a way to find out how this image, the reference image can be generated by typing in an AI prompt. What will be the correct prompt for this? And to do this manually can take a lot of time. So we are going to take the help of ChatGPT. So let's go there. So once you are on ChatGPT, the first thing that you're going to do is attach this reference image. So let's do that. All right, so we have attached our meditation room reference image here. And we're just going to tell ChatGPT that AI prompt for the attached image. Okay, that's all. So it's going to analyze that image and it's going to give us a really detailed prompt. And this will be actually more important for pencils since we don't have a way of attaching the image here. So we can copy this, okay? And we're going to start over. So let's go back and let's attach the empty room image here. All right, we've got the image here and under style, we can probably, I actually went through all the styles and right at the end, there was a style which said Zen. So I'm guessing this will be close to uh, something because Zen means you know, it's related to meditation in a way. So I'm going to select Zen. And in style here, I did find something like this meditation room. Okay. So let's keep this at around 0.65. And maybe slightly at 7 which should be fine in this case. Because we do want some big changes here. Remember that room looks totally different than this. And finally, we've copied our prompt from chat GPT. So we're going to paste this here. And now let's see how this tool handles this. All right, so you can see the results are not too bad, but it doesn't really follow the prompt very well. That's why I told you earlier on, it doesn't really give too much importance to the prompt because you can see here, 
clearly one of the words that chat gpt gave was a buddha statue but we don't really see any sort of a statue yes it does look like a zen meditation kind of a room but you can see that influence is coming more from these things right so it works really well i've even tried by selecting or keeping these empty and just using the prompt it didn't really work well the only thing that we can hope can produce some more changes is to push it towards the extreme on the creativity side and let's just try this once more before we head on to firefly and right now if i zoom in this actually doesn't look bad right i mean it starts to get at least the colors and the lighting from uh the reference image right but again if i probably notice around i still don't see the buddha statue so you can see right doesn't give too much importance to the prompt now let's head over to firefly so by the way if you don't have um you know or if you don't know how to use this once you go here you will need an adobe account but it doesn't cost you anything you get 25 credits per month for free so just create your account on this right side here and for the people who are paid users of photoshop you get 750 credits and it's a great tool because once you've gone here again the link is in the description you just need to go to this part which says text to image and right now just click on any image doesn't matter these are some images generated by the users and we can just delete this prompt and start our own thing so under model we're going to select the latest firefly model generation which is currently in january 2025 firefly image 3 uh, we're going to leave fast mode on this just means the generations that we ultimately produce will come very quickly even though there will be a low resolution but we'll be able to see which one we like and then upscale it so it doesn't waste your time aspect ratio we're going to stick to what this room is like which is more like a portrait okay so or rather the image of the room right and in content type we're going to select for photorealistic image now this part is important in firefly you can give it a reference image not just for composition but you can also give it for style so in composition we're going to give our empty room image because remember that is what that is where we want this model to follow the a perspective and the structure guidelines okay so let's upload our empty room image under here and the moment you do that it's going to show you this uh, dialog box just hit continue and in the strength slider we're going to push it to the maximum where we're telling firefly that don't deviate from the structure here okay we want that generation to look like this room under style style means the actual visual elements not just the perspective and the structure so the colors and the things that are going on in the image this is where we'll put the reference image okay the meditation room that we liked so let's attach this image here and again we're going to push visual intensity again we're saying yeah try to make it as close to uh, as close as possible to the reference image also the strength and that's it you really don't need to do anything and under the prompt we already have the one from chat gpt we're going to just paste that and let's try this all right so you can see here that this actually looks quite similar to what we got with uh pencil right you can see like these things so yeah that must have come from the prompt a bit right but if you look at this i think this definitely looks much better because it has the buddha statue sometimes the in this case the statue is outside so what we can do is remember we are on the fast mode so it's pretty easy to just quickly generate this once more and see some more results but i think overall i'm actually liking these results much better than what we got with ai architect for example something like this right this starts to now get very close to what we had in mind with the reference image and then once you like something you can always hit upscale and download it so yeah not too much of a difference but it's safe to say that firefly gives more importance to the prompt whereas this tool is more dependent on these particular parameters but they are definitely still in its early stage these tools are still developing but i'm still very impressed with such a tool because it's very very unique and i have not come across such a tool in the other ai apps so in case you like this video do give it a like and if you want to follow all my experiments that i'm doing with the different ai tools and how they can help photographers edit their photos in a quicker and easier manner then don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time